Oh, don't don't mind me. <laughs> um, I am uh, connecting with my inner Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, oh. yeah. All right, guys, here goes a beauty tip, okay? When you have a zit, just put a fake mole, okay? But I feel like this mole really kind of transforms me into, I don't know, my inner, my inner Marilyn Monroe beast. So by now, you know that I am a lover. I love love. I love the concept of love. I love the idea of love. I love being in love. And I'm sure you do too. And I know a lot of people watching this are like, I'm right there with you, girl. Some people are like, ugh, when it comes to love. But I happened to come across this book that's called The Five Languages of Love. And I want you guys to watch this video all the way through because you're gonna learn so much of Something that you're like, wow, I never would have thought that me and my lover were speaking opposite languages. So a lot of times in a relationship, you are blinded by so many things. A lot of times you don't even get to know the person because you're so infatuated with other things about that person, right? And then you start getting to know this person and you're like, oh my gosh, what I thought was opposites attract really is not working for me. A lot of different things start popping up and you're like, what the I thought this t this person was for me. Like, I don't like the way this dude carries himself. I don't like the way he is with his family. I don't like the way he doesn't cater to me. And so this book that I read, it breaks down that everybody feels loved in different ways. So there's five love languages. One, acts of service. Acts of service, for example, is my primary love language. Tell me, baby. I got you. I know your car's on empty. I'm about to fill you up. Oh my God, your car is filthy. I'm about to go get you a car wash. I can't stand a talker. I'd rather you not talk and show me. Do instead of talking, right? So that's the first one. Two. Another, Another love language is words of affirmation. There's people out there that if they hear, baby, I love you. Baby, you're amazing. Oh my God, thank you so much words of affirmation. They need to be affirmed and reminded of who they are. Three. Another, Another one is physical touch. Some people feel loved when you touch them, when you rub their head, when you hold their hand, when you rub their leg. <laughs> Men and women, some people love that and that's their primary love language, okay? Four. Another love it. language is quality time. These type of people love when you spend time with them, when you actually make them feel like they're a priority in your life. I remember I had an ex-boyfriend that he always made me feel like, like a dentist or a doctor. He literally would open his calendar and he was like, okay, well, let me see where I could pencil you in. And I was like, really? I have to make an appointment to get some quality time with you? This is why he's my ex-boyfriend. Five. Receiving gifts. You guys, receiving gifts for some people actually is a love language. So when you come across a man or a woman that loves to receive gifts, there's people that actually feel loved when you give them diamonds, when you give them a brand new car, when you give them whatever. So in your eyes, you might consider her or him a gold digger, but that's actually a love language and people feel loved when you give them gifts. It's about that time. School's in session, welcome to School of Roxy. Holy guacamole. How to have a conversation with somebody when their love language is words of affirmation. Watch and learn. Baby, look what I was rewarded with at work. Baby girl, you know you don't need no award to know that you're the queen. You're amazing. I was so nervous up there. Did I do okay? Baby girl, I wasn't even paying attention to you talk because every time you open your mouth, I hear a, a choir of angels. I gained a little bit of weight. Do I look okay? I wanna be the jamón to your torta, the peanut butter to your jelly, the cinnamon to your cinnamon bun. So once you understand what your specific love language is, it's not gonna be like you're speaking French and the other person is speaking Korean. You guys are actually gonna be able to understand each other, grow together, Everything is gonna just be heightened and elevated. The craziest part about it is like, I'm knowledgeable about this information in this book and 
my relationship still didn't work out, so obviously we were not speaking the same love language, right? But the right man will be able to handle all this. I have no, 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 seriously, but moving forward on my new quest of love, you better believe we're gonna be speaking the same language. Find someone that understands your love language. If not, you're gonna have failed relationship after failed relationship, and it's gonna turn into this crazy pattern. So listen, drop a comment below. Let me know what your love language is or what you think your love language is. I wanna know what kind of lovers are following me. And if you know somebody right now that may be going through a hard time in their relationship, share this video with them. It might, it just might save their relationship. <laughs> and if it does, like, I still wanna know that, right? So make sure you give me two thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for so much love. And um, hopefully very soon, you and me find the person that speaks our love language, okay? Okay. I mean, I wouldn't be my. I, I wouldn't mind being showered with diamonds. <laughs> That'd be so cool. I've never had a guy spoil me with diamonds. I don't know why I'm obsessing over diamonds, but I want them. Shine bright like a diamond. Bye, guys. Baby girl, I want to be the jamón to your torta. I want to be the peanut butter to your jelly. I want to be. Hold on, you're, you're my queen. You know that, you know that. Give me a kiss. I'm gonna be breaking it down. The five languages of love, right? Everybody. <laughs> that was Turbo hitting his tail against a trash can. Hold on, Turbo, shut the f up. <laughs> Baby, I don't even hear when you talk, cause, no, <laughs> hold on. I was so nervous when I was up there. Did I do okay? No, bitch. <laughs>